Greetings, chemistry students. I want to go over real quick how to work out this hydrate problem from yesterday's lesson with this little lab involving the magnesium sulfate. So I've transcribed the data here so I can actually work out the problem with you. Now, the empty crucible was 10.69 grams. The crucible with the magnesium sulfate that's hydrated with the water in it is 15.684 grams. And then after we drove off the water, it only weighs 13.155 grams. Now to do a hydrate problem, we need to know how many grams of magnesium sulfate we have, and then how many grams of water we were dealing with. So this right here, our last data point after it was heated is the magnesium sulfate without the water, but we do need to subtract out the mass of the crucible. So if we take 13.155 and subtract out the 10.69, we get 2.465 grams of magnesium sulfate. And then the water is what was lost between the weighing of the magnesium sulfate that was hydrated and then after we've driven off the water. So we can either subtract the mass of the crucible from each of these numbers and then subtract them from each other, or we can just simply take 15.684 and subtract 13.155 from it, and we get 2.529 grams of water. Then, just like in an empirical formula problem, we need to convert grams into moles. So for water, one mole equals the mass of two hydrogens plus an oxygen, which is 18.016 grams. And so this comes out to be 0 0.140 moles. And then for the magnesium sulfate, we take the mass of magnesium plus the mass of sulfur plus the mass of for oxygens, and that comes out to be 120.38 grams. So then if we take 2.465 times one mole over that, we get 0 0.0 to 0 moles. So then our last step is to divide everything by the smallest number of moles. and we get one and seven. So it's MgSO4.7H2Os or magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. All right.